Hi Steve, my name is Edna Gonzalez and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I want to say a huge thank you for allowing me to apply uh, for your scholarship and I just wanted to share a little bit about why I'm interested in applying for um, the scholarship and public interest law and why I want to be an attorney ultimately. Um, a little bit about me. I originally am from Mexico. I immigrated here when I was about five and a half with my mom. Uh, my mom left my father, who was uh, unfortunately violent and an alcoholic. And when we got here, all we had was what was on our back. And we were able to find a niche uh, community that was willing to kind of help us out when we got here. And I primarily lived in the inner city with minorities. It was a low-income neighborhood, um, but it was very welcoming. And my mom was a maid in the casino industry. She slowly worked her way up. And I got to understand very quickly at a young age what racism looked like. I unfortunately saw immigrant families scared to call the police because they thought it would cause a bigger problem. Um, I saw police brutality against my peers. I saw kids dropping out because um, there needed to be another um, source of income at home or they were the only ones who knew how to translate in English for their parents and they needed them more at home uh, or childcare. And the message that I kept seeing day to day from people in authoritative positions, whether they were police officers or um, the community or teachers, it was always like, just stay there, be quiet, just take it. Or there's something wrong with you or just stay to the side. And, you know, these aren't positive messages. Um, ultimately, it takes an emotional toll on a community, and it never really sat well with me. Even growing up, I heard uh, from administrators and teachers that, one, being bilingual was going to be a deficit for me. For me, um, Looking Latina, um, looking the way I did, and having a last name um, that was Hispanic was going to be a problem because I wasn't going to be able to assimilate quickly, um, to adapt to learn English, to learn how to take tests, that ultimately I just wasn't going to do well and that I needed to be okay with staying in um, English as a second language classes. And luckily I had a mom who was a great advocate for me and I was able to enter regular classes, but that came with a fight. And I think every step of the way I've had to fight for something, whether for me or for my community or for someone else that looks similar like me. And when I went to Tufts, um, because luckily a couple of teachers and a mentor really believed in me and helped me apply to schools, I realized that as much as it was a great opportunity, I was entering a world that was very different. The things that I had experienced with racism at home were nothing like what I was about to enter in that institution and in Boston. And I quickly realized that all these subtle forms, some sort of blatant forms of racism were protected because of the way the institution worked, because of the policies, because of the way people interpreted these policies. And I quickly understood that I needed to understand what this looked like. How were these institutions built? How could I navigate them? And who were the gatekeepers? And I focused my studies on American studies, focusing on institutional qualities and racism and different facets of American society. And I realized at that moment that that was my role in this whole scheme of things. And watching the pandemic on TV, um, seeing how communities of color are drastically affected, um, watching the protests, the police brutality, the anger, the hostility is something that really affected me because I feel for the, those people. I feel for everyone that's affected. And I also understand that there's been a lack of accountability. And there's also been a limited access for people of color to be taken seriously or to even have a voice at the table. And I think that's something that I hold very close to my heart that I want to be able to be that disruptor, to be able to be the person who is at the table, who has a different point of view, um, who is coming in with a different set of lenses and is able to influence how a policy is ran, how a rule um, how a, hopefully a case is interpreted in, in trial. These are things that I want to be a part of. And I want to be able to create pipelines for access and equity. 
And I'm hoping that through the scholarship, through LSAT prep materials, I'm able to get that access one step at a time to get into law school and to be that change agent and disruptor and hopefully bring that equity to my community and to others. So thank you so much. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.